Hello, welcome back to the workshop. New toy, the uh, Miroc Mill Drill. Oh, and 2,000 subscribers. Thank you very, very much indeed for everyone who subscribed to my channel. I'm very grateful. Right, so bought this Neroc Mill Drill. Cost uh, a fair bit of cash. It takes um, R8 collets. I have a few of those uh, and I'll be getting some more. I've done some tests. I've currently got a dial caliber with a test gauge in there and if I wind this this way I get no deflection which is good over the whole length and if I wind it backwards and forwards I get well I get a little bit as it changes direction but that's about it. And that just shows <coughs> that the table itself is running flat. Um, however, what it's not doing is if I pull this up, just drop that over there, there's some quite severe tilt front to back like that. So it's tilted up like that, so the column is leaning forward by quite a few thou. And if I pull this round all the other way, it's also, this end is higher, so it's leaning that way. So we have a column leaning in like that, just to exaggerate. So if the column is leaning in like that, it means that the... Um, relative to this we'll be cutting like that uh, and that's not good so we need to fix that now on this near rock it has a column let me just show you I'm just going to grab you off there show you what I mean I'll show you over has a column held on by four of those, that's a 10mm allen key. I'm just going to loosen those off. Because the column is leaning that way, I'm going to go and put a shim under here, and I'm going to put a shim under here. So let me just go and... Get that sorted out. Now if it's leaning over four thousandths that way, I think I'm going to start with the two thousandths. Let me just loosen those off. If I can pull that over enough, okay, it's that where I want to go, and also, then if I want to get that down, see now. Okay, so I need a shim on this side, in fact. Oh, I managed to set that to zero. Let me just check that over the other side. If 
a shim pack from EKP Supplies. Shim steel is very, very sharp on its edges. Right, so I'm just going to calibrate that to zero. Just above. And there we go. Let's pull that off. I've got a two thousand shim on that side. Right, so we've got one thousand to go. So rather than use a two thousand shim. Let me try the 3000 shim, which is the next shim up. I think. Let me just push that over. Shooting one thou there. And it's reading one thou there. So I've corrected the tilt in the column. Front to back's going to be a little bit more of a challenge. Five thousand across a very short distance. So what we're going to need probably something like uh, the third thickest. Let's see now what we've got. Try a thinner one.
putting just on the zero there, all like that, push that round. That we are going to need the thicker shim. Give me a sec. Well, I'm just going to go and hack a bit off that shim. I can remember where I put my metal shears. I've got aviator snips somewhere actually. Oh, I've got the aviator snips. So Right, so that's zero again. I don't appear to have done much for that. Let's go for get more. That's better. Okay, we're getting close. I think I just put three thou on top of eight thou. Think. Well, we're there to within a couple of thousand, so I'm going to call that okay there for the moment.
Right, now I'm just going to go and mount a vise to that and then I will come back to you and we'll just do a little bit of cutting with a uh, fairly chunky bit there. Not quite sure what the size of that is, but let's go just hack through a bit of alley. Back in a sec. And there we have it, nice little channel cut through that, with a sharp cutter. Cool. Got a few things I'm thinking of making on that, but that is my new toy, the Neroc Mill Drill. Uh, key features are, well one of its key features is that you can raise a column and because it's a column that raises it's not prone to the same problems of column raising on the other column mill so I'm quite pleased with this uh, it does need a uh, something approaching a milling machine vice currently I have a pair of um, drilling machine vices but I can fix that but the question of buying one for uh, something like a hundred quid or uh, Go to car boot sale tomorrow, so we'll see what happens there. But there we go, that's the new toy. You can see it uh, chomps away. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.